Hi everyone. Let's look at the next concept in mixtures and allegation. This will be the wine left formula. Now, what do you mean by the wine left formula? So the logic is very simple. Let me first explain even without reading the concept. Suppose if I had a jar where there was X liters of wine. So that's the first part. Consider a vessel or a jar containing X liters of liquid A. You want to call it liquid A, you want to call it wine, doesn't matter. And now if you withdraw Y liters, if we withdraw Y liters of liquid A and replace the same quantity with another liquid B. So just to give you an example around it, suppose if I had a jar in which there was wine, you went there, removed a glass of wine from there. And because you felt that others would know, what you did was you just replaced that with water. Now, a second person comes in, takes again Y liters from there and again replaces it with water. So what happens is every time somebody withdraws Y liters and replaces it with water, how much would be the wine left after N transactions? So volume of liquid A left would be in the first case X minus Y liters, that is wine would have been X minus Y, while volume of liquid B would be Y liters. If this operation is performed n times in all, then what is the property? So let's just understand, there was a jar with wine, the first person comes in, takes one glass out, replaces with water. When the second person comes in and takes one glass, what happens? He takes some water also with him, replaces it with water, same with the third, fourth, up till n people. Then the concept is liquid A left in the vessel after the nth operation upon initial quantity of liquid A in the vessel will be X minus Y upon X raised to N. Liquid A left in the vessel after the nth operation upon initial quantity of liquid A in the vessel will be X minus Y upon X, the whole raised to N. So liquid A left after the nth operation upon liquid B left after the nth operation can also be given by this formula. It will be X minus Y upon X raised to N upon 1 minus x minus y upon x raised to n. Whichever formula we will use depending on the question. Let's start with an example around this. 8 liters are drawn from a cask full of wine and same quantity of water is added to it. So there was some cask from which I remove 8 liters and add water to it. The operation is performed 3 more times. So in all it has been performed how many times? 4 times. The ratio of quantity of wine now left in the cask to that of water is 16 is to 65. That means after doing this four times, the ratio of wine to water is 16 is to 65. How much wine did the cask originally hold? So what was the original capacity of the cask? So we can start with let the original quantity of wine in the cask be X liters. Now every time how much are you withdrawing? 8 liters, right? And you're doing that four times. So applying the formula, I'll get wine left in the cask after the fourth operation upon initial quantity of wine in the vessel can be 16 upon 16 plus 65, right? Because 16 is the wine left upon 65 is the water. So 16 upon 16 plus 65. Taking the equation, putting X, the value of wine originally, so we'll have X minus 8 upon X, the whole raised to 4 becomes 16 upon 81. Obviously 16 upon 81, we know is 2 raised to 4 upon 3 raised to 4. So we will get X minus 8 upon X is equal to 2 upon 3. Cross multiply that, you get 3X minus 24 is 2X. X is equal to 24. So 24 liters of wine was there initially in the vessel. So this was a very straightforward example to understand the concept of wine left formula. Let's take one more example. A cistern, that is a cask again, contains 100 liters of pure acid. A 20 liter jug is used to remove cistern from remove the cistern mixture, replacing it with water. So in the first case, we are removing 20 liters, putting water. Second case, you will again remove 20 liters. But when you remove 20 liters in the second case, you will remove some acid and some water also. After how many processes or after how many times will you do this process, will the concentration of acid drop below 50%? The question has been changed slightly. Let's use a tabular form for this instead of the formula directly. Acid left in the system after nth operation upon initial quantity of acid in the system will be 100 minus 20 upon 100 raised to n. 100 minus 20 we know is 80, 80 upon 100 is 0.8. So it will be 0.8 raised to n. 
So when I do the transaction one time, suppose if I did the transaction one time, what will the concentration become? 80%. It was 100%. You multiplied it by 0.8, so it became 80%. Now, second time when you do it, whatever 80% asset is left, it will become 80% of that again. So when n is 2, you will have 0.64 or 64%. Why? Because you've done 80% of 0.8. So 64. In third case, it will become when n is 3, it will be 80% of 0.64. It will become 512 divided by 1000. Uh, so 0 0.512 or 51.2%. So if we still haven't gone below 50%. So we have noticed that in three processes, when the, when the process was repeated three times, the concentration of the asset has dropped to 51.2%. So if I do it one more time, it's very obvious it will go down below 50%. So my answer is definitely 4, but let's see exactly what will be the answer. So when you do it fourth time, the percentage will become 40.96. That is below 50. And hence the answer will be n is equal to 4. So this is a slightly complicated example of uh, Weinleff formula.